Rihanna, why did you do this to us? Why did you do this to us? Another one. I don't know if you could take it. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I'm sure a lot of you have seen many of these reviews on YouTube, but you haven't seen my review and I'm gonna be reviewing the shade 430. I went to Harvey Nichols and I was told to choose what products I want from the Fenty Beauty range. Now, considering it's been out for about three weeks now, I assumed that there wouldn't be any queues, everyone's got what they wanted, everyone's got it online in the shops, all the queues would die down. I'm seeing a big sign, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, waiting area. And I'm like, are you serious? Why did you guys come out today? I wanted the Fenty Beauty range. I wanted to get myself some products. You guys had all this time, you had about three weeks. I was so peed. Anyway, I did something that I'd never usually do. I waited an hour and a half in that queue for uh Fenty Beauty I must be crazy she swatched 430 she swat she swatched 430 450 460 as I'm sitting here I'm thinking hmm as usual loads of artificial light it'd be really interesting to see how you're gonna match my skin but let me watch let me let me just watch I'll give you a space let me just watch so she swatched it she's like just gotta give it a minute to dry because it oxidizes blah blah I was like, she was like do you want to have a look I said yeah I'll have a look but I can't really see um this isn't you know obviously it's not natural lighting so I don't really want to make a mistake she's like oh no problem we've got like a big mirror over there next to the window um let me take you over there and we'll have a look at it so I was like, oh, now you're talking, now you're talking, now you're matching the foundation to my skin. The 460 was too dark for my skin. In fact, it kind of looked like I'd put the espresso matchstick on my, my cheek. I was like, hell no. The 450, it was okay, but it was too warm. It was quite orange and I thought, nah, I want to look quite orange, so let's stay away from that. The 430, it was like she didn't put anything there, like... I couldn't see it. It was just so natural. It really was natural. And I said, I think, you know, this is the one. So she brought out the matchsticks. I said, I'm a, I want the matchsticks trio. Um, I already had the shades in my head, which I wanted, but I just stayed quiet. I wanted to see what she would bring out. She brought out the espresso, the suede, and she brought out um, cinnamon. She said to me, is there anything else you want? And I was just like, well, I do want to look at the highlighters. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not too keen on Trophy Wife. I feel that it looks really, from what I've seen on YouTube, I feel like it looks really, really yellow. Um, you know, and it was just too bright for my liking and for everyday wear in my opinion. I felt like it looked more like when you was going to a festival or you wanna, you're in a theater play or you're doing a music video. She's like, I'll try it on you anyway, just in case you do like it and you wanna come back for it another day. So I was like, okay. She put it on my face. I looked in the mirror. She's like, oh my God, it looks amazing. But I'm just thinking, hell no, nah. this is not for me. <laughs> this is not for me at all. So I said, I am interested in your Killer Watt Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule Duo. And it looks so good. It looks so good. It was natural, amazing, loved it. Told her to bag that up too. So enough with the rambling. This is the first time I've ever bought anything from Harvey Nichols in my life. So this is the Fenty Beauty 430 Shade Foundation. I just want to get in the damn. <laughs> so excited. Calm down, sir. Calm down. I'll get there. I'll get there. Oh, I love the frosted look. So sophisticated. Okay. It's very liquidy. Very liquidy. Um, you know, I did hear that it's quite a runny consistency and they were right Ooh. anyone notice the smell I've noticed it Ooh. Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh Please tell me, does it look like I've even put anything there? Does it look like I've put anything there? For all the haters, for all the haters, yeah? You don't know what you're talking about. I've never known a foundation 
that's blended with my skin tone so wow I am not a cake cat and what I mean by a cake cat I don't like to put layers and layers of makeup on it dries in very quickly like as soon as you put it on the skin it it dries in and it's matte automatically um I have an in-between of oily skin and dry skin um I say around my cheek areas it's quite dry uh around my nose my t-zone that can get quite oily however considering this is a mattifying makeup and my cheeks tend to be dry anyway it feels a bit dry a bit too dry for my liking um but i love the way it looks the matte is flawless i feel like it's got most of my blemishes except just this one area here just the one area well, apart from that done the job I wouldn't say it's a full coverage I'd say it's a medium coverage and you definitely have to build up don't even need to blow my neck too tough to be honest don't even need to do that I've got the matchsticks trio in the color deep 400 uh, suede espresso cinnamon you know what I've been waiting for I've just been waiting to do, to do this I've just been waiting to do this. <laughs> you do get quite a lot of product. You know, I'm not going to do it all the way in case I book it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I spread it out a bit too much, but. Now, this is more. This colour is more subtle than what I'd usually go for. Um, like I'd usually go for like fawn in the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Obviously, you can tell what her aim was here, which is to give a natural look. Um, so I'm just gonna try and blend that in. I'm too lit to dim down because I can name some things that I'm gonna do. If you want more of a highlight, I'd definitely go over it again or maybe add your own on top. Um, I don't feel like I'll have any creasing with this. I am just going to add a bit more. I like it. I like it. I'm looking for a bit more moisture. I do feel kind of dry right now, but as I said, um, the tones, they complement each other. They look great and they look like I, I'm not wearing any makeup. So definitely for no makeup makeup look. Move swiftly on to espresso the contour. Oh, okay. I like the shade of the contour. It's probably one of the best shades I've ever had. Because some of them are too dark or some of them, you know, they're just blending with my skin. And it doesn't even look like I've done anything. I feel like my angle brush is taking away some of the products. It's you can lose the espresso. I am in, I am quite impressed with the shade. I'm not sure if it's picking up much on camera, but it's brought the warmth back into my face. I am happy with that. Gonna use the cinnamon. I love how she spelt it. If you can see that cinnamon with S I N A M O N. I'm gonna try the shimmer stick on one side and the killer what on the other. Ginger bins. I want to try Moscow Mule. Wow. I will definitely be buying this highlighter again. Can I get an amen? Oh my gosh, I love it. So I will definitely get the foundation again and the highlighters. The only thing I have about this foundation is it is mattifying, but I've got mattifying make makeup that doesn't feel as dry as this. It's the only thing. Um, you know, if you like a natural look, if you want to enhance your beauty, then definitely get this makeup. If you want like full coverage, a full makeup look, then I wouldn't recommend it. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.